Hi guys, so at Brighton tonight for Brighton's match against Tottenham in the Premier League, 7.45 kickoff. Um, Tottenham are after a much needed three points um, to keep the pressure on Liverpool and Manchester United. Uh, we're after that second spot in the Premier League, uh, so the three points are pretty vital for Spurs. Um, Brighton are after the three points obviously as well um, to stay in the Premier League. Um, my prediction though, I think Tottenham are going to be too strong for Brighton tonight and my prediction is going to be 3-0 Spurs. Come on, you Spurs. Hi guys, so with the legend, the Spurs legend, and also <laughs> Brighton legend, um, Alan Mullery. Alan, how do you see today's game going? Um, the last two games I watched, I mean, uh, Brighton last week, or two weeks ago against Huddersfield, were very, very poor. Mm -hmm. uh, deserved to win a game, but, you know, weren't playing well at all. Two weeks before that, when they beat Arsenal, I mean, that was marvellous. They really played well. I watched Spurs on, on uh, Saturday, uh, and they were completely outplayed by yeah, Manchester City. They were. I mean, uh, Manchester City could have been four up in 20 minutes. Yeah. You know, uh, so I looked at that and I thought, well, both teams are not playing particularly well. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you see Tottenham at their best, they really are a good side. Other times you see them like that. Brighton are exactly the same. You know, it gets the, the lower uh, teams down the bottom. They play very uh, poorly, but playing against the big ones, they've really done very well. So this is a big one tonight for both of them. You know, Tottenham want to win, Brighton want to win to stay in the Premier League. What do you reckon? How, how do you think well, you know, for Brighton's sake, I'd love to see them get a result and stay in the Premier League. Yeah. For Tottenham, it won't matter anyway because they're already you know, in the we're top four. We're after second. Yeah, we're after second. It's no greater than being in third or fourth, is yeah. it? You know, yeah. if you're second, you're second. That's it. But yeah, I hope it's good. Thank you very much. Hi guys. So with Brighton fan Ian. Ian, what do you expect from tonight's game? Um, well, depending on what team like Spurs put out with their semi-final coming up, mm -hmm. I'm well, obviously hoping for a Brighton win, you know, but let's see what happens. Do you think they'll win tonight? Obviously I'd like them to win, but I, the way they've been playing recently, I can't see it. Yeah. Have you, been have you been pleased with the way Brighton have played in the Premier League this year? Yeah, I mean, they've had a few, sort of, when you look back at it, a few unlucky sort of moments here and there which could have given them more points. Yeah. I mean, like, Obviously the Huddersfield game recently and Leicester and stuff like that. The Palace not starting too good and going too down pretty quick. But yeah, no, I thought they have done pretty well and I hope they stay up. But you beat Arsenal here a few weeks ago. Yeah, that was brilliant. That was, <laughs> that was really good. That was good. I think we enjoyed that more than you. I know, standing in like a and just like going two up and end up. So they got a goal. Just, no, just get away from their goal and just hang on to get the win. Now, former um, Spurs legend Chris Hewton, of course manager here, uh, what do you make of him? Yeah, I mean, I can't fault him, I mean, he's, I thought he's an amazing job, yeah. Yeah, so if I was to push, push you for a prediction, what are you going to go for? Thank you very much. Probably one all, but, you know, probably a draw, but I've got to right to it. Thank you. Hi guys, so with Spurs fan Dave, um, Dave, how do you see today's game going? I see us coming out of the blocks very fast. Mm -hmm. so after the sluggish start against Man City, we can't afford that type of performance yep. in the first half again. So I think they'll be at Brighton straight away. And uh, hopefully get an early goal and settle the nerves and go on to win 2 or 3 nil. Well, we've got that's, a very good away record though, haven't we? That's how I see the game panning out. Mm. But uh, if they don't start like that, Brighton get on top and perhaps get a lucky goal or something. Yeah. So Reese has been found wanting the last three games. He's, he's made three mistakes. The one against Chelsea where he, 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 the ball went over his head. The one that got the rebound against um, Stoke, uh, Duf. And then the last one where he come rushing out. It shouldn't have been a penalty outside the area but he's still come charging out there and um, well it's been over social media for the last couple of weeks um, should we replace Larice? I think that statement is absolutely crazy I still think he he's crazy. one of, he is one of crazy. the best he is he is he, he's a brilliant shot stopper yeah he is. he's going through a funny phase at the moment I don't know what it is but um, it's unlike him to make three errors in three weeks yeah yeah I mean all right yeah they've cost us three goals I mean the first two games 
we managed to win, but you know he has he's made some fantastic saves and he he's, he has made the odd mistake. He mm. made a mistake against Chelsea in the first time game. Yeah. Whereas he, you know, he was beaten by the near post by Alonso in that first uh, Chelsea game. We've got back to one all, and then it's so demoralising to get, to lose to them again uh, in, at home. Now. Um... Back to tonight's game, because we've got the semi-final against Manchester United on Saturday, um, do you expect that we will rest uh, key players tonight? I don't think, I, I think it will be a different change, I think it will be a change, I think they'll, they'll be playing for their, final, their semi-final places. Yeah. So I think it will be near enough uh, the team that he's going to play on, on Saturday. Okay. He may rest the, uh, def- the uh, he may swap the, def- the uh, full-backs again. But, um, Rose has got a hamstring anyway, mm-hmm. so he's yeah, got to play yeah. Davis. Yeah. He may play Aurea, probably will. I hope he's going to play Lucas Mora. Yeah. I think he deserves a chance. Needs some time. He does need game time. I mean, bought him, mm-hmm. they've, they've, they've played him bits and pieces, but I want to see Mora more. Yeah. I think he's got, he's got a lot in his locker. Yeah. Uh, Dave, if I was to push you for a prediction, then what are we going to say? 3 0. 3 0. I'm going to go 3 0 as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Three nil. Come on, you. Come on, you Spurs. Come on, you Spurs. Hi guys. So with uh, Spurs fans David and Jav, teams have just been announced. What do you make of Tottenham's team? Toby is back. Good news. Good. Good to have him back. Can't um, believe it. Yeah. I'm surprised. Just going to be the team now. I'm surprised. I thought he'd be on the bench. I'm pleased to see him. I hope he does well. But just trying to work out who's missing here. It's a strong, it's a strong lineup, but yeah. I'm slightly concerned there are too many changes. So you've got Deli, who's not playing. Yeah. You've got Lamelle, might not have played anyway. Mm-hmm. No Tambelli by the looks of it. No Dyer. If Bellet's on the bench. Yeah. We yeah. expected a fair few changes though for the semi-final, didn't we? Yes. He was going to rest them. He's, he's put his importance as we said. We could technically we could lose three points tonight and be okay. Don't want to do that, but. I'm pleased to see Mora starting. Yeah. We all want to see what he could do, and I think he's going to. I said earlier, I think he's going to give Brighton a lot of trouble yeah. um, in his pace, and that's something I want to see. Pull him about a bit, so we'll see how we go. Just to go back for the, with, with the Toby situation, um, how can a player be out in the cold and then all of a sudden just return to the starting lineup? Toby, is that good? Maybe. <laughs> New contract? Maybe. Yeah. New Will he sign? Who knows? Who knows? So, so predict, predictions for tonight, you take? I will still go for a win, and two. I think we'll sneak it 2-1. 2-1, yeah. Two one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Come on, you Spurs. Hi guys, so we're in the stadium now. Um, I'm with Spurs fan Eunice. Eunice, how do you think uh, you've seen the Spurs line up? Yeah. What do you think? I think we're going to win 3 0. Yeah? Yeah. Very confident. Yeah, very confident. Uh, Kane, Ericsson, and Son. Yeah? Yep. Now we've got Toby back tonight. What do you make of that? Uh, that's a funny one. I was just speaking to my son on the phone when he phoned me. Uh, he like called me about Toby. I think he's been fit all along. Yep. Uh, it's good to have him back. We needed him after Saturday's performance. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how he comes with, uh, with the game. Yep. See if he's fully fit or not. Now, Lucas Mora is uh, in the starting lineup as well. You pleased about that? Yeah, I'm, I've been waiting for him to, to start. I saw him at Swansea two or three weeks ago. And I think on Saturday he was the sharpest player on the pitch after he came on. Yeah. So let's see what he can do. Now, uh, obviously we're, we're resting a few key players tonight uh, for Saturday's semi-final. Yeah. Uh, let's fast forward to the semi-final. How do you see that going? Are you confident that we win and get in the final first time in 28 years? Fingers crossed, yes. I think this is our year. Uh, fourth position secured hopefully today. Yeah. And then FA Cup final trophy. Shout all the media about... Uh, Tottenham winning a trophy, I think yes, we're going to do it. This is a Tottenham year. And next season we're going to be after Man City. Come on you Spurs. Come on you Spurs.
So we've just gone one nil up. Brighton have gone up the other end, and now they've got a penalty. Now, if you don't subscribe to them, hit the subscribe button and uh, all their details will be below. Come on, you Spurs. Come on, you Spurs. Come on, you Spurs.